What's up, mother foxes? Here we are again, back in this garage. What do we got going on? Let's show you. So, y'all know this is the dirty pirate hooker. Sublime's trying to call me. I'm going to ignore him right now. So, yeah, look at what happened here. <laughs> but a good thing. Look at this. I would have done a video on this, but my dad is retired and bored. <laughs> so, we pushed it in here and he got after it, man. This is the replacement one that I got from Proline News. Mark sent that out to me. I appreciate that. Here it is, all mocked up, ready to go. All done, nice and straight. And, and, look at that. Original Ford, so not that aftermarket crap. So here is the other one. Let's go take a look at it, it's right here. So, there's the bottom of that sucker. There's so much oil leaking on this thing, it's not rusting out, it's just messed up. I don't know if it translates very well on camera, but this looks like crap. So, yeah, that one's off there now, so. Um, and of course, remember I, last time we left this, this has got all the stuff wrapped up in here. Just gotta replace a couple of these uh, plugs out. But, uh, yeah, and then there's a lot of crap stuck up inside here. So what I'm going to end up doing, guys, is in uh, uh, Black black Sunshine, I end up taking some Eastwood uh, cavity coater stuff and spray it up inside these frame rails after I cleaned them out, even down the other one, even down the subframe all the way underneath the car. That was a whole, like hour and a half process of just blowing shit out of there from years and years of stuff coating in there to get anything that may cause rust out of there that's what i'm going to do again and once this is welded in here um we'll get after uh prepping it for paint um i know i said i don't i'm not big on uh i could care less about this these holes and stuff i may want to do a little bit to it uh, I, mostly these right here. I don't, I don't, I don't like the holes in the shock or the strut towers themselves. But, but as you can see, this car is from the south. Those are solid, man. Those are really solid. Nothing, nothing bad going on there. But uh, I may want to uh, cover those up or something. I mean, well, not cover them up, but fill them in. But we'll see. But yeah, man, that's what we got going on so far. Um, so those are probably going to disappear, <laughs> especially going E with the old 351 sitting right there. So, yeah, so there we go, man. We'll get after this thing now, we'll get this thing welded in there, and we'll figure out what we want to do with these aprons. I look at this now, and I, I don't know if I want to go down that road. <laughs> All right, so there it is, sandblasted. And I gotta paint it. We got some uh, weld through primer on here, but for the rest of it, I got some etch primer so it doesn't flash rust or anything like that. Can't get those off. I have to sand that down with a sander. But I got some etch primer. I'm not putting pour 15 on this because it's gotta get painted. I'm just put it on there to protect it for now but um yeah you gotta you i mean ideally you want epoxy primer but that's like painting a car you gotta get you gotta buy it from a paint store you gotta use a paint gun it's got an activator so but you can just go to o'reilly's or whatever and get some etch primer just and it eats, eats into the metal so it protects it pretty good until we're ready to, you know, paint this thing, so. But it's all cleaned up here.
Well, there you go. It is all installed and welded. Now they might, might not be great, but we ain't professionals here, so. It'll hold, things solid as hell. So, all back there. Got the edge primer on here to keep from rusting. And I got all the stickers that were on here off. And, there you go. And that made quick work of it. So, and those things come in handy because when uh, we had to uh, sand out the inner parts of these to weld, get all the rust off there to bare metal. That's the only thing we could get in there to sand that. So, get yourself one of those, they're cheap and they work great. And, uh, brother, we got some other stuff going on here. And I, uh, I'll show you something real quick. That's about it y'all gonna see. <laughs> All right, there you go, man. A uh, little short video here. Um, not much to show you. Like I said, guys, I, and then any of you don't understand or don't know, I, I can't weld stuff because I do have a medical device that prevents me from being close to a welder. So unfortunately, that's something I can't do. Maybe in the future when they invent something better. <laughs> so, um, but he did that for me because, like I said, he does all that kind of stuff. I do all the painting and the body work and the, uh, the sanding, the damn sanding. But, um, but yeah, he's taking care of that. There's some other stuff that you did see a sneak peek of <laughs> if you're paying attention. Uh, yeah, we're, we did something funny, but, uh, we're doing it the right way instead of just, you know, taking a gigantic hammer to it. So, um, but, uh. But yeah, he's doing all that. I'm stripping the engine bay out and everything, getting everything out of there so we can, as soon as we get done with filling these holes, I don't know how far I'm gonna take this. I just told him I don't, I don't, I like, I don't like the holes in the shock tower or the strut towers or whatever. The aprons, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I'm definitely not gonna spend as much time body working this thing like I did Black Sunshine. I have when I when I do it I know what to do this time to make it go faster and there's not big uh, 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 repairs in the bottom of the strut tower like they were with that car this 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 thing's pristine so um, but yeah like I said I'm stripping this thing out so we can get it ready for paint but I gotta be I gotta wait for him to get done with all this metal work and stuff uh, so yeah man I mean, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of colors in this damn thing. There's gray, there's red, <laughs> there's black because, oh man, people with fox bodies and when they don't want to do things the right way, it could be a yellow car, a blue car, a red car, a green car. They all just like say, hey, let's just like you know rattle can the engine bay black, which is so tacky. So. <laughs> <laughs> it might get some shit for that one. But anyway, the other car is black. Of course, the car is black. So I'm a fan of coloring the engine bay the same color as the car. So um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Later.